Bettina Ortiz E. Mania was not accustomed to waiting, a former Miss Venezuela and Miss Universe runner-up. She is now the wife of Miami auto parts tycoon Herman Ortiz E. Mania. At every restaurant she chose to grace with her presence, she was always greeted with reverence and with to the exact table she desired. Today, she wanted the corner table on the terrace at Sip Sip, her favorite lunch spot on Harbor Island. She wanted to sit on one of the comfy orange chairs and stare out at the gently lapping turquoise waters while eating her kale Caesar salad. But there was a large noisy group taking up the entire terrace and they didn't seem in much hurry to leave. Bettina fumed as she glared at the tourists, happily savoring their lunch in the sun. Look how tacky they were! The women, overly tanned, wrinkled and soggy, none of them properly lifted or botoxed. And the men were even worse all dressed in all rumpled shirts and shorts, wearing those cheap straw hats. Why did such people have to come here? Feeling that she had been patient long enough, Bettina stormed into the kitchen. The fringe on her crocheted Pucci caftan top shaking furiously as she made the beeline for the women with the shock of pixie cut blonde hair manning the main stove. Truly, honey, what's the dealio? I've waited more than 15 minutes for my table. Sorry, Bettina, it's been one of those days. The party of 12 on the terrace showed up first just before you did. But the terrace is your prime spot. Why on earth did you let those tourists take up all that space? Well, the tourist in the red fishing cup is the Duke of Glencora. His party just boated over from Windermere. That's his royal wisman you see moored off the coast. Isn't it the most handsome sailboat you've ever seen? I'm not impressed by big boats. Bettina huffled, although secretly she was rather impressed by people with big title. From the kitchen window, she surveyed the party assembled on the terrace with new eyes. These aristo-British types were such a strange breed. Sure, they had their Savile Row suits and their heirloom tiaras, but when they traveled, they looked so painfully frumpy. It was only then that Bettina noticed three tan, well-built men in fitted white t-shirts and black Kevlar pants sitting at the adjacent table. The guys weren't eating but sat watchfully, sipping glasses of seltzer water. I assume that's the Duke's security detail. They couldn't be more obvious. Don't they know that we're all billionaires here in Breland? And this isn't how we roll? Actually, those bodyguards belong to the Duke's special guest. They did a whole sweep of the restaurant before the party arrived. They even searched my walk-in freezer. See the Chinese fellow seated at the end of the table? Bettina squinted at the portly, balding, 70-something Asian man dressed in a nondescript white short sleeve golf shirt and gray trousers. Oh, I didn't even notice him. Am I supposed to know who he is? That's Alfred Shang. 
he looks like their chauffeur. Doesn't he look like that guy that used to drive Jane Wyman around in Falcon Crest? From what I hear, that chauffeur is the most powerful man in Asia. What's his name again? <laughs>